Oh, that was bright. What's up guys? Good morning. Welcome to another long overdue video. Um, yeah, for something pretty exciting today. Uh, so things have been going well with my business and uh, as you guys know, I bought the little 1400 for work. Uh, but as you can see, there's a whole bunch of stuff on the back. Today is an exciting video because I'm actually going to go put a new exhaust on the bucky. Um, I'll show you guys now what the exhaust looks like on it. But I need to offload all of this uh, in order to drive to the place where I'm going to go and do it. It's my usual spot. It's all his exhaust in Nigel. So let me show you what the current exhaust like uh, looks like. And then, uh, yeah, I'll start to get unpacking. As you guys can see, all the exhaust is nice, rusty, no hangers. And this thing has been clunking around for way too long. There's so much stuff on the back of here. I think there's probably about roughly about 500 bricks um but yeah let me get to offloading and then get on the way to go do an exhaust appropriate to show you guys a little cold start <laughs> I don't have a choke so just bear with me but um, yeah here's a cold start for you guys and a little rev before we get the new exhaust on Can't go in a hungry, hungry tummy. Can't get your modifications on an open, empty stomach. Oh yeah. Hello. Hello, how are you? I'm well, thank you. Good, thank you. Can I please get a breaky crunch wrap combo, please? Would you like to donate for the Yes, it's fine. Thank you, can come through. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Sure, Have a good day. All right. Yo, you fast today. Huh? <laughs> Thank you. Bye bye. On to the exhaust mods. City Golf. So we just arrived and we're just gonna go get a price quick. So she's up next. Uh, we're going for 50 more with the free flow box. I'm really keen to see what it's gonna look and sound like. As you guys can see, I still need a cleaner after diving in surge, but at least she's getting a new exhaust today. Fresh stainless steel pipe going in for a bend. Also, while we're up, you guys can see that I need to do a front main seal. And remain still, but I have to replace the clutch soon because um, it is starting to slip. So that will get replaced ASAP. This is not the first time you've done 1400, eh? <laughs> you know all the bends already. Yeah. Yo. Yeah. One time. One time.
Okay guys, 1400 is all finished up. Time to head home. How's oh, the babes? The new exhaust. Actually just went for a nice 50 more. Straight out the back. Yep, let's head home. 2000 years later. What's going on mate? So obviously as you can see, the 1400's behind me. Um, no guys, but I'm just joking. Um, it's a few weeks later. A haircut or two later. Um, I didn't get around recording anything else after I did the exhaust so today I'm just gonna do some flybys and some revs so you can hear what the new exhaust sounds like and then I'll get to explain to you guys what I'll be doing next to the bucket because there's uh, a few things that uh, I need to do and some parts I need to change so yeah let's get into some revs and drive-bys To the front you will notice that the bucky doesn't sound like a diesel anymore and uh, yeah the reason for that was because my <laughs> and it's a stupid that I never checked it but because my crankshaft pulley was loose that was causing it to cause that rattle which made it sound like a bit of a tractor so I'm glad that I checked that out and that I got that tightened because that could have been catastrophic. The engine would have probably blown up. Sorry for the wind. Uh, but yeah, that is, that is fastened. And uh, I'm just going to get some drive-bys for you guys so you guys can hear what it sounds like on a drive-by. I don't think it sounds too bad. It sounds very similar to the old one. But yeah, it's slightly different to me. Obviously, I can hear it in person. Don't know if in video it's that clear, but let's get some drive-bys. about you guys but I think it sounds really good uh, it only has one box in so these buckets are actually quite quiet from uh, from factory they don't I make a lot of noise but what's up next as you guys will see at the back uh, my tailgate ruined someone reversed into me with their trailer at the hardware store and they drove away so I'll be looking for a new one of those if any of you guys know someone that is selling one uh, in really good condition, please let me know. Otherwise, I'm going to fix that one. Um, I need to spray the wheels. I got white spray paint to spray the wheels so they can actually just match. And then the thing I'll be doing as soon as possible is the left front hub uh, is slightly damaged from when I bought the Bucky. So I recently re bought a brand new stub axle and a new hub with a new bearing. So that's the next video that I should be filming. Um, obviously, as you guys can see, the bucky is a, a work in progress. It's not perfect. So uh, I bought this bucky, as I said, initially for work, but I do want to build it up slightly and do a few things. There's a guy with a fart machine, a four stroke scrambler, <laughs> uh, making some noise. But I bought this bucky as a project. Um, I have an end vision uh, of what I would like it to be. Um, and I just hope you guys enjoy the ride with me and enjoy the process of restoring and building this thing up to be what I bought it to be or have I have in mind. If there's any videos you guys would otherwise like me to make regarding the bucky, uh, besides fitting all the parts that I bought, I still have two bucket seats, um, like OEM Nissan bucket seats that I need to make brackets for and install. I'm really excited for that. I think that's going to change the way car feels around the corner because right now with the bed sheet you slide around everywhere and uh, yeah, the safety belts aren't that great but uh, stick around and yeah we'll see how this bucky progresses and how we change it to be a bit more unique spec but might for those that stuck around to the end it's donut time let's go
she hasn't opened up, but that will be sorted sometime in the future. Thank you guys for joining. Peace out, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers. Memphis, man. Memphis, man.